Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm here for my book haul rewind for the month of May. If you are new here, basically what I have been doing is in order to hold myself accountable for all of the books that I purchased in 2017 or 2018, it was a lot. I have been going over the books that I purchased in 17 and 18 in the month that we're currently on, which is May, and going through what I have read and what I haven't read so that we can keep a tally of what I've actually been accomplishing. Last month was kind of a low number and I did say that we were getting to some bigger ones. For May, I have 12 books from 2017 and 11 books from 2018. Also, I will not be giving full descriptions of these, but I will link in the description box below as well as in the cards, the original haul video. So it has all of the descriptions there if you're interested in seeing more of that. Let's get started. First in the not read department, we have Teardrop by Lauren Kate, as well as Waterfall, also by Lauren Kate. Still in the unread department, we have The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. This is the third book in the Remnant Chronicles, which I just started reading this month, so yeah. Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. I have not read the first book, therefore have not read this book, which is the sequel. The last two are The Battle for Wanla and A Hero for Wanla by Tony Dieter Lizzie. And these are books two and three in the Wanla series. But I have read The Search for Wanla, book one in the Wanla series. I just have not went back and read books two and three. But I liked it, so eventually I will get to it. They're just really big books. The next four are all reds. They are Night World, volume one, which contains three books, uh, Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, and Spellbinder. These are by L.J. Smith. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. This is the first book in the Diabolic series. And Dangerous Creatures and Dangerous Deception by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And these are books one and two in the Dangerous Creatures series, which is the follow-up series to the Castor Chronicles, aka Beautiful Creatures. And the last book in the 2017 category is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I am currently in the middle of this, so probably by the time this video is actually posted I will have read it, but at this current moment in time it is not finished. Doesn't fall into either category. And now we'll move into the unreads from 2018. They are The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan, The Star Touched Queen by Roshni Jakshi, The Glitter in Court by Rochelle Mead, which is the first book in this series, Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes, which is essentially just a companion to the Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus series, and American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Again, haven't read it because it's a chunker. Eventually, I will get to it. And now for the Reds of 2018. The first is As You Wish, Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride by Carrie Elwes, Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick, and Yes Please by Amy Poehler. All three of those were purchased after I read them. I read them via audiobook and enjoyed them enough that I wanted to own them, so those were easy. Then we have The Trials of Apollo, book three, The Burning Maze by Rick Rayward, and this is the third book in the Trials of Apollo series, which I feel like I said in the title somehow. Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson, and the final red book is Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. I would hold them all up for you, but it is a massive amount of books, so that's not going to happen, but these are the books that I have from May of 2017 and 2018. The total this month is kind of interesting because it's 11 books that I have read, 11 books that I have not read, and one book that I'm in the middle of currently. So it's very even for the month of May. Want to know what to look forward to next month? Next month I have 41 books that we need to go over, so it should be an interesting month. Let me know in the comments below if you have a book buying problem that you're trying to resolve because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to read the books on my shelves rather than buying new books so hopefully this year will prove a success by doing these TBR games that I've been playing. If you have any questions about any of the books that I have read I will be linking my review on Goodreads in the description box below and I actually think there are a couple that I have full review videos for and I will post those as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!